and statistics from the Environmental Protection Department show that the landfill space is going to be used up in five years' time. Therefore, Hong Kong should make a new solution to the land waste problem. Some people suggest to explore more landfills, but I think incinerations is better. One of the disadvantages is the wastage of land. To begin with, the land in Hong Kong is very precious as we need more land for housing. Besides, we may need to sacrifice country parts when we want to develop more landfills. However, the country parts had the potential to become the nearest tourist spots. Some news show that foreign visitors have shown interest on natural scenery of Hong Kong. As written now, the Secretary of the Commerce and Economic Development said, Hong Kong is endorsed with a great variety of the natural scenic spots, with unique characteristics and amazing scenery. With the growing popularity of the green tourism, the Hong Kong Tourism Board has set up cooperations with the travel trade to promote Hong Kong's natural attractions. Furthermore, there are limitations in reusing the land. According to the Environmental Protection Department, full restorations of the coast landfill may take at least 30 years, during which building development cannot take place due to settlement problems. After restorations, the land cannot be used in housing. Another disadvantage is landfills cause air pollution. During decompositions, landfills emit pollutants, including greenhouse gases and smelly gases. The examples are methane and the biogas. However, Hong Kong is so small that no one can escape from the air pollution. It just never happened in the Lohas Park. Lohas Park is very near to the landfills in Changkwano. Therefore, the residents in the Lohas Park has to close the windows all the time. They cannot breathe in the fresh air and they are forced to turn on the air conditioner all the time. Worse still, the building in Hong Kong is very tall and this will create a war effect which trap the pollutants from the air from the landfills. Instead of landfills, we can use incinerations in Hong Kong for the solid waste removal. Incinerations is the best solution. Firstly, it has a high reliability in solid waste removal. Incinerators can remove 80% of the solid waste mass. According to the Sub-China Morning Post, three incinerators are planned by 2015 in Hong Kong. Among them, the biggest one ever built, which together will handle 80% of the amount 5 million tons of the waste of the city generates every year. Another advantage of the incineration is they can generate heat and energy. Generally, the amount of net energy that can be contributed per ton manufacturing waste is about two third megawatt hour of electricity and two megawatt hour of district heating. Furthermore, steam produced by the incinerations can be sold to the industrial customers. The UK Health Protection Agency concluded in 2009 that modern, well-managed incinerators we will make only a small contribution to the local concentrations of air pollutants. It is possible that such small additions could have an impact on the health, but such effects, if they exist, are likely to be very small and not detectable. The European Union includes the energy generated from the biogenic waste by incinerators as a non fossil renewable energy under its emission caps. These greenhouse gases emissions are in addition to those generated by the avoidance of the landfill methane. Some local residents worry that the incinerators will cause the air pollution and it will emit toxic gases, but they are over worried. We can look at the German cases. In 1990s, the German incinerators released, released 57,000 kg of lead and 345 kg of mercury. Eleven years later, the respective levels slumped to 130 per 5 kg, 
that means the 0.2% of the initial emissions and 4.5 kilogram that is 1.3% of the initial emissions how could Germany cut the emissions within 20 years one of the approach is to set is to set up the strict requirement in terms of the amount of emissions and equipment. For instance, the authority has specifications in minimum temperature and retention time which guarantee the completion of the pollutant, pollutants decompositions. As Hong Kong has successful legal system and advanced technology, Hong Kong can resemble the success of Germany. Consequently, the safety of the local resident can be secured. To sum up, landfills will destroy the environment and raise the precious land in Hong Kong. On the contrary, incinerations can handle more waste and generate energy. Also, the incineration is getting safer under technological improvement and appropriate regulations. Therefore, we should give a try to the incinerations.